Good afternoon on this first day of 2021. I thought I have some time. I would make a video and I'm going to talk a little bit about a class I'm going to offer. Hopefully I can get a few people to sign up. Um, the last class I did on Zoom was sort of a practice, but this may be um, a good one for guild classes too, if your guild is interested in doing workshops uh, via Zoom. So anyway, um, I'm going to talk about a machine applique, how that kind of came about, how I started doing it or why I started doing it. And um, I'm going to start with this quilt and with this block specifically. This has, I started this uh, quilt, it's called Beyond the Cherry Tree Quilt, um, designed, patterned or whatever by uh, Gay and at Sentimental Stitches. And when I got to this block, I was doing it all by hand. And when I got to this block, there is 57 leaves in this block. And my hands were just feeling so big and um, clumsy. So some of these are, I can't even tell really which ones. This whole block right here looks like it's hand appliqued and a few over here. And then I just decided I am never gonna get this done. If I have to do all of these leaves, it wasn't something that I enjoyed. I did not enjoy applicating 57 leaves that were all basically the same. So um, a friend had done some machine applique and um, shared her like technique with me. And it's not even really like a new technique, but it's not one you really think of to do with an heirloom style quilt. So I used fusible web or fusible um, with iron. And then I did a tiny little zigzag in matching color around the shape. Now I will say I don't necessarily do that on the stems. So all of these stems are hand appliqued. Um, but I did it on the leaves and I did a mix. And then from then on, I did machine applique on this quilt. And personally, I don't think it distracts from it. I know I've definitely had some quilt police say, oh, that's just too bad. But I think that we need to defund the quilt police. So um, this is how I thought was a way that I could make the quilts that I like to make and not be forever on um, just one quilt. So I do work, we have a business, and I have a lot of other activities besides quilting that I like to do. And so um, this was the in-between, um, kind of the compromise for me. So anyway, I thought other people might like to do it as well. And just while I'm standing here and I see all these little grapes, yes, these are all done as well. Um, this is done by hand, but this is all done by machine. Um, so anyway, so that's why I wanted to show you this one because that block is always gonna be a reminder to me about um, why I started. So I'm gonna do a class um, coming up in just a couple of weeks. And I hope that you'll consider um, setting aside a couple hours to join me. I think we can have a lot of fun. I will provide a pattern that will be um, kind of a classic pattern. I'm actually thinking about doing this one right here. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of this. I think I just got it on EQ. But this is one I did quite some time ago that I saw in a like a country living magazine as a I think it was, theirs was kind of an old quilt that they had cut and used a few of the blocks as a table runner. So that is what I did and this is the technique that I used to do it. Um, so this particular one is not quilted. I did it kind of an envelope style. It doesn't have binding on it. Um, but I thought we could start with one block. Obviously you wouldn't have to make it in traditional colors, but I'm drawn to reproductions and, and old quilts. So um, anyway, so you can learn a lot of different, you can learn some layering techniques, circles, um, some points. And um, it does actually look like I did, uh, I did actually do these stems by machine too. So anyway, I hope that um, this gives you a little bit of, I ha I've done a lot of them. 
So um, I am just gonna show you a handful right now. So this one is a little more primitive and that may be what you think of when you think of fusible um, applique is like a primitive quilt. But I did this entire quilt the same way. I mean, here's some uh, wool. The wool I did by hand, but all the other applique is done by machine. And I wasn't gonna open this up, but I thought I would just show a couple, couple little blocks on this. And this is still using the small zigzag. If you want it to look kind of primitive, you can use black um, thread and, um, or you can even do a buttonhole, which I have done. Um, here's another full size one. Uh, this one was also uh, patterned by Gay at Sentimental Stitches. She did such a good job. And this one is completely done by machine. So um, I've done reverse applique, um, the stems. There's a lot of it. And I wash my quilts. So um, they hold up pretty good. You have to take your time to make sure that you get all, you get everything stitched down. But here is another one with a lot of berries. And anyway, um, it's just a fun technique and it's a way to get quilts done that you wouldn't normally um, be able to get done. So if you are interested, I hope that you contact me. I'm hoping to get an Eventbrite um, sign up uh, ready to go along with this video. So, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me. All right, I hope you guys, this is the start of a great new year. I can feel it. Um, so, and it really is what we make it. So if you try to make it a good year, it probably will be a good year. So, uh, love y'all, take care, and many blessings.